All right, I'm on hole number five of the Liberty Tournament. I'm in Wednesday's qualifying round in the Reiki Division. Let's go to hole number five. This is hole number five of City Park. We're following all of the City Park holes, one through nine. I know that's amazing. We usually don't do that. We're all over the place, but we are doing it today. So here's what I found. I'm looking for, okay, this is the, this is how I'm going to set this shot up. I'm bringing a QB. I'm bringing a Kingmaker. I'm going to do max... Max top spin. That's going to put me out about right here, which is not normally where I hit, but I'm going to I'm 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 working this max top spin number. That's I want to be somewhere in the 346 range. I'm trying to I'm trying to get this yardage to be consistent. I'm going to bring a Kingfisher, which is not my normal short iron. I usually bring a, a Hornet, but what's happening with the Hornet is if I'm in this spot right here, I'm in between mid and max. But with the Kingfisher, I'm dead center mid club. And I want to make sure that I aim towards the left hand edge of the cup. And I'm doing a plus 10% to the cup. And I should be in mid Kingfisher and I'm going to use 2.1 per ring. At mid plus 10%. So let's let's get that math going. So it's 1.1 times, and I want to don't want to get too far ahead of myself because I got to get out there into that spot. And to get out there, I'm going to use a QB and a Kingfisher. QB. I think I have a bag set up just for this. QB, Kingfisher, Kingmaker, cutting the wind down. Let's open up that chest, get some more common cards rolling. 26 common cards. If you're just participating in the club card trading, you need to really grind for like a month. Like really grind. And get your commons built up so that you have an inventory common so that every day, if you're just going out there and playing even just your pin chest, you're you're up in those. If you're playing tours five, six, you're, you know, it, 10 chests, eight chests, when a day you're somewhere pretty close to replenishing your 300 common cards. If you're playing tour three. I find on average it's somewhere between like 22 and 26 per chest if you're opening up a silver chest. Where in the heck are you guys going that you need to do max overpower other than to go into the rough and into the drink? What the hell were you thinking? I really have no idea. Like, is that the first time they've ever played this hole? I mean, that's really what it looked like there. I'm going to try and get, I'm going to get right over in this area here. I want to give I want to try and separate myself just a little bit from the tree. 2.3. I know that looks like why didn't you just leave it to the right because I'm trying to get away from that tree cuz I want to put a little teeny bit of curl on it and I need to have room for the curl to become effective. I'm going to go right to the outside edge. Isn't it perfect? If you're right up against the tree and you put curl on it, you'll end up clipping the tree. So you need to move yourself a little bit to the left. Let's see what kind of distance I have here. Three, it looked like it it rolled out. 343. I was at 346 yesterday, so that's putting me putting me somewhere. What are you crying about, dude? I don't want to take any risks that this person's going to start emoji spamming me during my shot going into the cup. So let's just turn the chat off. Now, if you're trying to do a max overpower hook shot here, you need to do a hook. Okay, you're you're okay. All right, dude. You got it. If at first you don't end up in the water, let's try, try, try again. There you go. Good job. Like, what are you doing? Okay, it's 1.1 times whatever the wind is. 3.2 equals divided by 2.1. So it's 1.7 rings. One right at the outside edge of that cup. 1.7 rings. Let's try and get lined up here. Quit wiggling. 
there's a one, there's one five. One point seven rings. Let's see if we can hit this perfect. Oh, wow. Well, that's good though. It ended up short. I'm used to the ball guide on my on my uh, on my uh, Hornet. I got to get used to the ball guide on that Kingfisher. It seemed like it was running out a little bit long. I hit it yesterday. What did I try it in? I was in my low level account. And I was playing with it and I did that exact same shot. My low level account was in that spot and was like, you know what? I should be just using a Kingfisher. All right. Three times in the water. Third time's the charm. I have no idea what they are doing. I have not a clue. And it seems like I'm not too upset about that. You know, the deal is, is you can't get upset about hitting. It, you know, it's not going to go in if you hit a great to the left or the right. You're looking for perfect. That's why we're going through all this stuff to try and set the shots up. And the deal is, is that uh, I'm not going to hit every shot perfect. That's just not my game. So that's how that's how it rolls. But I have that shot. So I, I that's one of those holes that in the weekend round, I'm looking to pick that shot up. When we've played the city park holes in the past and I've had super good success, I've made that both times. So that's a hole that I really need to make, but it's all about hitting it perfect into the cup. I feel real good about my adjustment. I just need to hit it perfect. Perfect. All right, that was hole number five of the Liberty Tournament and Wednesday's qualifying round in the rookie division. Thanks for watching.